Hey, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a really long time, but um, this is Wendy. Hi guys. And um, her and I are like BFFs. And so I am like the makeup queen and she's like clearly the hair queen. So I've been dying to know how she does her hair for so long. And I've been dying to know how Emily does her makeup every day. Yes. Because it's flawless <laughs> and it lasts all day. I kid you not, I get angry I'm by sorry. how long it lasts. Because I'm like, damn girl, you still look good. It's like 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> She's just gassing me up right now. It's fine. So we thought it would be a really cute idea if we do a little get ready with me. We kind of yeah. follow the steps of each other. So... We're gonna start with makeup and um, then finish with hair. So yeah. if you guys wanna see how we got these beautiful looks, stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe. Baby, I'm saving it all. Okay, ready? Yes, <laughs> okay. I'm ready. <laughs> so first, I start with my eyebrow. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow pencil. Do you have that? No, but <laughs> okay. I have the dip brow. Okay, perfect. And you carve them out though at the end though, right? Mm -hmm. With the concealer. Okay. So, I use the Tarte Shape Tape. I use Light Neutral. Mm -hmm. I don't usually do my brows first. What do you do first? I tried it for a little bit, but I have a really oily skin. Mm -hmm. So I feel like when I'm putting on, I, maybe it's also the product that I'm using, but when I use the pomade, I feel like with like the consistency of my skin and how oily it, oily it is, mm -hmm. it um, it's really hard for me to get like this shape that I want, but for me. Oh, so usually do, what do you do at last or what? Yeah, I oh, actually wow. do it last. See, for me, it shapes my whole face. Yeah, but I'm really proud of them right now. <laughs> I'm gonna prep my eyes. I use um, the Paint Pot Painter Leaf. Cool. Okay, you use. And I use the Stay Don't Stray. I use a soft glam palette today. Yes. Yeah. I start with burnt orange. I just go back and forth with my crease. I'm all about soft glam. I like soft glam. I've never done something like Full? Yeah. Well, oh, see, full's my jam. My next step, I'm gonna use Dusty Rose. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of fill it in the crease again. Gives it kind of like a bobby look. Really light, nothing crazy. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, it's cute. So in the outer corner, I'm gonna use Rustic. Kind of like pack it. You can see I'm just packing it. And then I kind of swoop it. So I'll pack on the outer and then like swoop it across. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of fairy and glistening. Okay. And then I'm gonna do setting spray. Okay. A little bit of hair, a little bit of two sprays. Okay. And then I, it's almost like I create a cut crease. Go over it with the gold. And stop when I get to that rustic color, that darker brown. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, I love this. It's all about the setting spray, huh? Getting it wet before. I'm going to use the Christina Woods piece. Oh, perfect placement. <laughs> so first, Solly. And then this is new. I've been using the Olay. Henriksen, the Banana Bright Cream. Ooh, literally life-changing. I've been putting it on with a concealer brush, oh, too. I can't wait to try that, actually. Yeah. Base your face. Base my mm -hmm. face. I get really, really oily and my makeup yeah. starts cracking. Yeah. So foundation. what foundation do you use? So I still use MAC. <laughs> yeah. It just works for me, and then I mix it with the Estee Lauder Double Wear. So my formula is the Too Faced Born This Way and the Infallible by L'Oreal. Spray my beauty blender with the primer water. Even though it's like camel spit right now because it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> So I actually leave the nose on and I go to smoke it out kind of like with a pencil brush. You leave your nose on? Yeah. You'll like 
Because it dries out a little bit. Yeah, so like, and then it just literally, it's so easy to blend. That makes sense. So under my brow, like right around here, I hit it with the Emrezi. Like when you turn, it kind of pops. <laughs> and then I'm gonna hit my inner corner with it too. Never have enough inner corner highlight. I start off with um, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. And I use MAC Give Me Sun. It's okay. literally my favorite. Sigma blush. Mm -hmm. Corda Rosa. I'm going to use this more natural color one. Oh yeah, they're kind of similar. Yeah. Just really lightly kind of go right on top. And so what I learned from Emrezi, I stop like right about here. Okay. I don't bring it all the way up because I'm going to put my highlight on top. And it kind of makes your highlight look powdery when you want it to more look like more wet. Guys, don't start getting ready until your girl does this step right here. And then you can start getting ready. <laughs> Literally. That means we're halfway there. It's true. Okay, I'm really bad at my highlights. So, so I kind of. Because like, I feel like I have the weird shape cheekbone. Uh -huh. So I don't know if I should do it right here. No, lower. So I do it right on, like, so you kind of like, and I curve it. Kind of create like a C. Like this? Yeah. To be seamless. Yeah. Highlight yeah. bronzer, highlight blush bronzer. Yeah. And then I take my MAC, um, oh darling, this is such a bomb highlighter, okay, and I take it, really and I put it on the apples of my cheeks. Oh, and then I set it again. Lips. Yes, Boldy Bear by MAC, and then I use ABH Naked, top it with this gloss by NYX, and it's the BLG Creme Brulee 05. Okay. I use Venice and Halong Bay from um, NARS. Also use Get It On from NARS. And I'm gonna mix it. So everyone always asks me too, what is on your lips? And I'm like, guys, it's like eight different colors. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> I'm gonna mix it with Namaste from Tarte and Stila um, Carmella. Done. So for part two, I'm gonna show Emily how I do my hair. I we all wanna know. Everything. <laughs> so hot tools one and one half, curling iron, two inch hot tools. Also the Batiste dry sh uh, hair shampoo. And I have two clips that I'm gonna use to section off my hair and a brush. I prep my hair with some dry shampoo because it literally changes the texture of your hair. And then with my curling iron, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna clip it and then I'm gonna curl it upwards. Clip it in the middle and then I turn it. Oh girl, you can it's easier if you hold the bottom of your hair and you just wrap it and then you pull it as you go if you curl it up I feel like it adds more bounce to your curls I with I put my hair oh mm-hmm okay it just makes it easier easier because when you're sectioning you don't want to like recurl Right, what you already Same. curled. Yeah. So like this, right? Mm-hmm. Away from your face. Yep. Okay. Yep. Probably will be the last last time I section off my hair because yeah. once I get to the crown, that's when I'm gonna use the bigger curling iron. Oh, okay. I go in with a two inch. Okay. Okay, so the clamp is like this. 
and I'm just wrapping it and pulling upward. And now I don't brush it out. I literally tease it a little bit. How do we Yay. look? I feel like we're twins. Yeah. I'm into it. Yeah. I hope you liked that and I hope you liked getting ready with us. Um, there'll probably be more to come. Comment what you guys think and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yay. Baby, I'm saving it all for you.